So after scanning through the material, do you think it's a material that you would enjoy studying? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But I was. I was not. Don't don't you find it? Don't you find it too easy? Yes, this, this sentence is easy, but I mm. I I I can uh, pick out actually when I but mm. usual conversation with the mm -hmm. so I want to be exercise. Mm -hmm. When I start when we start English, should I should I leave and speak out to get mm -hmm. sentence? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, um, that's part of the practice. So, because if you want to really become fluent, let's say, uh, to, to a level wherein you can already, let's say, naturally express yourself, you have to practice speaking a lot because it's not just about in the brain. It's not, about, it's not just all about the information, the English information you have in your mind. It's also about the memory. Uh, we call it muscle memory. Okay, so, so we call it uh, muscle uh, memory. So, you know, it, it's uh, the muscle memory in our tongue, in our mouth. Um, so, for, for instance, even if I'm not thinking, I can still talk to you. I mean, I'm not exactly using my mind. I mean, let's say I'm not like totally um, you know <laughs> using all the information in my head like I'm just talking to you mainly uh, from the memory of my mouth of my my lips my my tongue uh, I don't need to really do a uh, a long process of thinking and let's say translating and then you know how how should I say this one and how should I express this thought it's like it's naturally coming out it's it's a muscle memory we call it yeah. no. to get my hey, point hey, may I ask you something when yeah sure Philippine, in Philippines do you study English or do you have own language of course, uh, here in the Philippines we have our own language. In fact, we have many languages uh, here in the Philippines. So we have uh, what we call dialects. So these are like, we call them di dialects. Th these are also languages, but uh, like it's regional language. So I think we have like more than a hundred, I suppose, more than a hundred uh, languages. And then our national language is Tagalog. Hello? Yeah, Tagalog. That is our nat uh, I mean national language. Um, and then uh, English is an official language, but it's more like a, uh, a formal language. Formal official language. Yeah. Good. So in my case... English is like my third language because my first language is my my dialect the language in my hometown and my the language in my hometown is very different from Tagalog so when I was in elementary I had to learn Tagalog because it's not my my original language and then as I was learning Tagalog, I was also learning English. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, how but mm. oh. <laughs> come again, please. How many languages can you speak out? Um. Well, just I I would say just three, like my dialect, uh, the national language of the Philippines, and uh, English. But I know some other languages, but I. I'm not very fluent uh, with them, but these are also uh, like dialects here in the Philippines. So I have friends from other parts of the Philippines and they have their own dialects and I tried to learn their dialects uh, a little bit. So I, I could, let's say, understand a bit, but I could not really fluently uh, speak their language. 
Mm. Yeah. Right, so that's about... Yeah, I think a lot of foreigners think that Filipinos naturally speak English, but that is not the case. Uh, if you... I don't know if you've been here in the Philippines. Have you been here in the Philippines? Yeah, I've been. You have? You have been? Hmm. Three times already? Yeah. So, sorry, June, I can't hear you now. I have, I, I have been to the Philippines three times. Okay, three times. Okay, you've been here in the Philippines three times. So, what was your observation? Because I think Filipinos don't really speak English naturally. Uh, yes, we have a lot of people who can speak English well because I think we have this booming industry uh, of uh, the, the call center. Um, are you familiar with that? Call center companies, call center uh, industry. Uh, so a lot of young people work in call center companies uh, and, and these are companies providing uh, services to American companies or Western companies. Uh, so they of course need to speak English. Uh, but if like let's say you talk to a random person on the street in English, uh, they might have difficulty, they would likely to have difficulty talking to you in English. Yeah, so it's, it's not really natural for Filipinos to uh, speak English. We can read and we can understand, we can even write quite well, uh, but I would say only few can really speak English um, let's say to a, uh, a level in which they could use it continuously in a sentence uh, what people usually do here in the Philippines is they mix Tagalog and English so we call it Taglish uh -huh. yeah Taglish it's a it's a, uh, a combination all right, it's a combination of Tagalog and English. Uh, so they use English words, but the sentence is like the sentence construction is Tagalog, and the let's say the the linking verbs, like the connection words, uh, are Tagalog. They just use like English words. Um, so yeah, so so people um, find it hard to use English um, let's say completely if they want to say some things it's it's always like a mixture of the two yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. also I also when I when I when I was in college I majored mm. Chinese Chinese mm. uh, Mandarin Mandarin language. Mandarin yeah yeah mm. So when I speak out, I, I have also understood this mixture of Chinese and English. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes, yes. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not, it's so not how, is you, how is your Mandarin now? Oh, uh, it's good. Really? I, mm -hmm. It's very well. But, uh, wow, that's great. Well, I mean, that is a good indication that you're not going to find it particularly hard to learn the English language. I know that uh, based on research, if a person <coughs> has learned another language other than their own language, they could learn any other languages much, um, let's say, easily um, because they have already exposed their minds to another language. So if they try to learn, let's say, a third, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth language, it's not going to be hard uh, for them anymore. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I listen with a mixture of different two languages. When I speak out English, I, I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Chinese and English. So mm -hmm. this is a little bit confused for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, a little bit uh, confusing. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, it could be, could be a little confusing. I understand that. Um, well, so, yeah, I mean, your English is not bad, Jean. We have already spent, like, more than 10 minutes having a conversation, and it's okay. <laughs> listening, I'm listening, but I cannot speak out. So, you see, mm -hmm. I cannot express myself in English. It's mm -hmm. a problem. No. Yeah, th th I think the problem is, there is a disconnect. Like, you know what you want to say, but you ca it's not coming out. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. Uh, it's not coming out. So there is like a disconnect between what is inside your mind and what's coming out uh, from your mouth. So yeah, I, I think if that is the problem, it's not really about learning. Well, of course, part of that is learning, improving your grammar, improving your vocabulary. Um, but I think the main thing that you need to focus on is boosting your confidence. You need to boost your confidence. Um, that is a, a big barrier, actually, uh, because, for instance, when I was in college, I was a uh, I was one of the writers in our college publication. So we had a college paper, and like we release like a newsletter regularly. And I was one of the writers, so I was able to write very well, but my spoken English was very bad. Like, I could not even finish a sentence, um, like, using straight, let's say, straight English. Um, and what I realized um, eventually was that it was not because my grammar was poor, because I was a writer. I, if I'm, If I was writing... I would know exactly how, how how would I put it in a sentence, but you know the um, spontaneous speaking, um, spontaneous, um, like spontaneous is like it's naturally and without any time to think or you don't you don't have a lot of time to process like you let's say when you ask me something then I have to respond immediately you know that's spontaneous uh, so speaking English spontaneously was very hard for me and what I uh, discovered uh, eventually was that my confidence was making it more difficult uh, it was it was also part of like because when I was in in school like in elementary high school and college I only we only focus on writing and reading um, and and not really speaking uh, so my muscle memory was also very bad like I was not exposed to speaking uh, in English um, so I still did not have like the muscle memory um, and also uh, and more importantly, my confidence was very bad. So yeah, confidence would help you uh, feel more comfortable. And when you feel more comfortable, um, it would be easier for you to express your thoughts. Uh, l l it's not really about um, expressing your thoughts in perfectly correct sentence right uh, it's about getting the ideas getting what is in your mind out so that other people would you know would hear it and would understand it so um, right but of course our confidence um, tells us hey your sentence is not correct grammatically so don't say it <laughs> so uh, so that is a problem I suppose yeah, yeah, I think so, I think so. I, yes, I want to speak up. Mm -hmm. If, if, uh, if, if the sentence is not correct, but, mm -hmm. uh, this is my problem. I, I, I have to be boosting my confidence. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, right, boosting your confidence is, uh, I would say, uh, very important.
Right, right, very important. Oh. Okay. Mm. Mm. In the next class, was when I study, when I make only a few sentences and uh, I speak out during one mm. our class, oh, uh, mm. I'm studying for uh, better for me, better for me. It's mm -hmm. uh, For example, I have read this interchange book, uh, mm -hmm. and then I, I have to memory or or uh, how. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I think what we're gonna do from from our next lesson. So today was more like a free conversation, and actually this is good. So maybe. Uh, so you have a class three times a week with me, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Maybe let's say one day we will just have a free conversation. We'll talk about you, we'll talk about anything. We'll talk about, so let's say, your family. Uh, we can talk about your children. Uh, we, we can talk about myself. So that you could, you know, have this free conversation practice. And then maybe for the two lessons, uh, we can use interchange. And we'll focus more on... because. I was looking at the material and I think you could study most of most of it by yourself like the fill in the blanks exercise uh, I suppose that's very easy for you so we will focus on the the, the the questions for conversation for example if you look at page 2 a time to remember you have that right um, and there, there are questions there like do you think Anna and Ted could be friends all right, so so th those kinds of questions, questions to let's say uh, give you the chance to process information and um, speak them out. Right. So you'll focus on those kinds of questions. Okay. Thank you. All right, and also I would uh, like when when we're having this conversation, I will also try to uh, catch those sentences that you said let's say in in an incorrect uh grammar and then i will like like what i did before so i typed them and i and then gave you my corrections and sent them to you and then uh, you could review them uh, so that you could uh, change how you construct those sentences okay, okay so what do you what do you think about uh this plan i don't believe I agree. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's great. Uh, I'm glad that uh, you agree with it. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll still use interchange. Uh, to see, um, Sheila told me that uh, maybe because you told her. But did did you have an English conversation with Sheila? No, no. I s yeah, I suppose not. But she just told me that uh, you need more vocabulary. Or y your vocabulary is quite poor, but I suppose you just told her that you have poor vocabulary. Um, but she did not really have a uh, an English conversation with you, uh, so she was not able to really assess. I would say your vocabulary is not bad. You the vocabulary is there. It's not just coming out. Right. Yeah. But I think because you c you can understand me. We call that we call that passive. Um, let me type it. Passive uh, vocabulary. So that means you know a lot of words. Like when you read them, you understand them. When you hear them, you understand them. But you don't know how to use them uh, in 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 your own words. Uh, we call them passive vocabulary. So you need to you know make those passive vocabulary into active okay. and you know that takes time to practice okay. yeah I, I, yeah all right right so i am afraid our time is up now jun uh, so that's about it for today thank you so much and uh, from tomorrow uh, we'll try to use uh, interchange so you can, uh, in your free time, uh, later today or uh, this evening, you can study the other parts, like, for instance, the fill in the blanks, uh, the past tense, the grammar, right? So, you know, grammar and vocabulary, that's, I would say that's for your homework. If I were you, I would use this class 
mainly for conversation because that is what you cannot do when you are alone right you can study vocabulary when you are alone you can you know fill in the blanks when you are alone uh, you can study grammar when you are alone but speaking is something you cannot really do when you're alone okay so I think that's about it uh, for today's class uh, June thank you so much uh, you could just you know let me know if you have some questions or concerns um, for you not to forget them you can type you can send them to me even if it's not our class time so that we can talk about them in our next class okay thank you okay all right so yeah i know you have a busy day so i will let you go thank you so much and uh, i will see you next time this time uh, tomorrow that's, that's gonna be tomorrow okay goodbye jane bye 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 <laughs>